Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the different types of triangles that exist. Even though you see seven different triangles on the board, there's only six different triangles because it turns out that these two are actually equal to one another and we'll see that in just a moment. But first of all, let's look at our first one. This is called a scalene triangle. That just simply means that none of the sides are equal to one another or better said none of the sides are congruent to one another and therefore they call that a scalene triangle opposed to that we can have a triangle where two sides are congruent to one another meaning they have the same length they may be oriented in a different direction but they both have the same length and that is called an isosceles triangle two sides are congruent we can have a triangle where all three sides are congruent and that's called an equilateral triangle. The name makes a lot of sense because lateral means side and equi means the same, so the same sides or congruent sides. Then we have one that we'll work a lot with which is called the right angle triangle or simply the right triangle because it has one right angle of 90 degrees. That means the other two angles have to have an angle of less than 90 degrees and so therefore that is called the right triangle. We also have an acute triangle where all angles are less than 90 degrees which means all three angles are acute. We have what we call an obtuse triangle where one of the three angles, in this case here, this one here, is greater than 90 degrees and that's called an obtuse angle and there's no way that you can ever have more than one angle being obtuse because then you end up with more than 180 degrees and of course you can't violate that rule and then here we have what we call an equiangular triangle where all three uh, all three angles are congruent but if all three angles are congruent then by necessity all three sides must be congruent as well so therefore an equilateral triangle is by definition also an equiangular triangle and an equiangular triangle is by definition also an equilateral triangle so that's why I said there's only six different types on the board but there's seven different names and that's what they are right there all seven of them those are the ones we're going to be dealing with and again knowing that helps because sometimes you get these names thrown out and you may not know well what does that really mean for example what does a scaling triangle mean it simply means that there's no congruent sides all three sides are different from one another so now we understand what that word means and it's good to know the definitions of all these different triangles and that is how we can move on to the next video on triangles.